So what is it that the, some of the world's leading organizations have figured out? There was actually some pretty interesting research that was done by a psychologist uh, by the name of Thomas Gilovich. And I had the opportunity to interview him not that long ago. And he did some really cool studies where he looked at how does our satisfaction change depending on if we invest in a physical good or if we invest in an experience. And what he found is that over time, if you buy a physical good, let's say an iPhone, for example, over time, your satisfaction levels start to go down. But if you invest in an experience, over time, your satisfaction levels start to go up. This is what the world's leading organizations have figured out. And this is why so many organizations around the world are focusing on creating experiences for their customers. Because this is ultimately what has the greater impact on satisfaction. In a world where everything is commoditized, what separates you is the type of experiences that you create, not just for your employees, your partners, your suppliers, your customers. The experience actually matters. So this is the concept that the world's top companies have figured out. So if employee engagement programs typically don't work when it comes to uh, driving loyalty and driving innovation and getting us to, to be these wonderful employees inside of our organizations, then what does work? What we're starting to see is this concept of employee experience emerge. Employee, so what is employee experience? It's changing the core workplace practices inside of your company around your people. Changing the core workplace practices inside of your organization around your people. Now, the good news for all of this is that there are three environments that shape every employee experience for every organization around the world. Three environments. And those three are culture, technology, and physical space. 